Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moikins, and today I'm going to show you how to create modal pop-ups in your iOS application. Now what do I mean by modal pop-up? What I mean is when you interact with something in your application, a, another window pops up on top of the one that you're interacting with. So let's get started. What I have here is a single view application with a background image. There's no functionality on this view right now. These buttons don't do anything, it's just an image. And I got this image from Ranjith Alangal. He's on Dribbble, and I'll include a link to his work down below in the description. He does a lot of great UI work, and I'd like to thank him for letting me use his images. So the first modal pop-up I'm gonna have you create is going to be inside of a, another view controller. So let's add that. And then we need a way to open up that view controller, which is gonna be our modal pop-up. So let's add a button. And the button again will be over this orange, uh, the exist orange part of the image, so we'll simulate that it has some functionality. Just like that. Now what I'll do is add some constraints, and I'm just going to uh, have it suggest some constraints. Okay, now to navigate to this next view controller, I'm going to right click on the button and drag it over to the view controller and let go. Now, I'm not gonna pick show, which is usually what most people do, show or show detail. I'm going to select uh, present modally. And from here, what it's going to do is when I click on this button, it's going to show this view controller, of course. Now let's see what that looks like right now. Okay, here's my view, and when I click on this button, it shows the the next view controller. Okay, so let's have it actually show something. Now what I'm going to do for my view controller is it's just going to be another view that's going to have an image and a button to dismiss it. So the first thing I'm going to add is a UI view. Okay, and this will actually be my view controller. And for now, let me give it a different color just so we can see it more clearly. All right, there we go. And inside of this, we're going to have a UI image, UI image view. And let me select the image for the pop-up. Okay, here we go. Uh, I want it to be aspect fill, so we don't lose, so it doesn't give it that stretching look. It maintains the same aspect. And let's make this bigger just so it fits the window better. All right, that should be good right there. And I'm going to just resize the view to fit the, uh, the image. Just like that. All right, good. So when I click on this button, I want this pop-up to show. Now, I need a way to dismiss this. So when I, I there's a way to like get rid of it or continue or something like that. So for now, we'll just add a button. And we'll put it down at the bottom. And uh, this button, we'll just have it stretch all the way across our pop-up. We'll change the color uh, to, uh, you know, let's pick that, that same orange color that's in the other button. We'll choose that for the text. Let's see. An easy way to do that is, is instead of clicking on these arrows right here, just click on the color itself, and it brings up a different window. And for this, I can just click on this eyedropper and select that color. There we go, now we have the same color. Okay, and I'm also going to, why don't we do this? Why don't we give it the background? We'll just kind of just differentiate it a little bit by giving the button a, a background color and then maybe changing the opacity. Let's see how this looks. Or not the opacity, the, the alpha. Let's crank that alpha down. You know what? Actually, you see, th this is this is one thing I keep forgetting. When you change the alpha, it changes the alpha for all components inside the, the view. So let's change that back to one. And to change the, the to get the effect that I'm trying to get, uh, what I want to do is I'll actually want to change the opacity. So actually I was right <laughs> when I first mentioned it. So make sure, let's get this back to one. And let's change the opacity on just that color. There we go, that's better. 
something more like that, 25% opacity. Okay, so there's my pop-up. And let's, all right, before we test it, actually, let's implement this button here so we can dismiss it and get back to the main view. So to do that, I'm going to need a view controller, and I don't have one yet. So let's, let's actually, let's do that. So I'm going to have to add it to my project. All right, there we go. Let's clean this up, get rid of the things that we don't need. Okay. And we're going to go back. Let's assign that view controller. There we go. So there's a view controller for this view. So now this view controller has some code that it can work with. And for this button, I'm just going to drag it over to my code window and it's going to be an action. And let's just say uh, close pop up. There we go. And to dismiss it, uh, let's see, we just want to dismiss animated true, uh, nothing in the completion. Okay, so now let's test that, see how, how it works. Okay, perfect. So let's take a look at this, this modal pop-up. It doesn't quite look the way we want it to look. For one, there's nothing, we can't see behind this, this white part right here. So we want to fix that. And another thing that I'm, I don't like too much is when I click this, it slides up from the top. I want it to just kind of appear when we click that button. I don't want it to slide in or slide out. So let's change those two things. Now, first of all, for the background, this is a little bit tricky. It's not gonna be any code. So let's get rid of that. Let's show the properties here. And we want. let's look at the attributes inspector for the view controller itself. And we see down here, that there's transition styles. Right now it's cover vertical. And what that is going to do is cover vertical means is, is like what we saw it slides up from the bottom and covers it starting from the bottom going up to the top what we want to do is we want to do a cross dissolve which will basically fade in from the position that it's in right now so it's not going to slide around it's just going to show up right where it is and the next thing we want to change too is the presentation right now it says full screen but we want to change that to over current context and what that will do is Right now, when it's when it was on full screen, that means it actually takes over everything that's on your screen. But if it's over the current context, the current window will still be there, but this will just lay over on top of it. Then that way, we can see, we can change this background so we can still see what's behind it. Okay, let's see how that looks. All right, that's better. See, it's not sliding up and it's just kind of showing up, like fading into its current position. Okay, I still can't see behind this, so let's change that. Again, I'm gonna click on the pop-up view controller, and inside of there, actually what I want is the root view. So over here in my document outline, I wanna click on the view, and here we see it's a white color. That, that should be fine, but what I'm going to do is change the alpha. No, I'm not. <laughs> we already discovered that we don't want to change the alpha. I'm going to change the opacity to let's say 25%. Okay, good. And let's see what that looks like. There we go, that's better. So now we have our pop up and we can still see behind it a little bit. Let's change the opacity to make it so we can't see through so much, so it better distinguishes our pop-up over the background. So let's change this and let's give it, let's try, let's see what 50% looks like. All right, that's a little bit better. Okay, let's change something else though. Notice the view, I didn't add any constraints to it, so it's just showing like toward the top. We want it more in the center. And we'll change this button too to something that makes more sense. 
Okay, for this, we'll just say it's a continue button. So the person using the app, can, he can see the flight plan, and he can continue, and then maybe reserve his ticket or something like that. And uh, let's add some constraints to the actual pop-up view, which is this one right here. And for this one, I'm just going to set, center it vertically and horizontally inside the window. And then I'm going to give it a size, a width and a height. And when I click this button right here, items of new constraint. So that's just basically saying when I add these two constraints, it's going to position the UI view that the constraints apply to. So when I click it, click it, it actually centers it inside the view. And the view, the image is actually missing constraints too. So let's add those. And we just want the image to be the same size as the view behind it. And then the button is also missing constraints. So let's add those. We want it to hug the bottom and the sides. And we'll just give it a height of 40. All right, good. So everything has constraints. That should be fine. There's one other thing I think we can do, maybe a couple of things I think we can do to make this look better. For one, let's give our pop-up rounded corners. And to do that, what we'll have to do is, is create an outlet for the view. And for this outlet, we'll just call it the pop-up view. And now that we have a reference to it, we can actually give it uh, rounded corners. And I do that on the layer. And I assign a corner radius. We'll just start with 10, see what that looks like. OK, take a look at this. It's centered now, so that looks fine. But why don't I have rounded corners? This is something that's common that a lot of developers run into, is they, they actually apply the corner radius, but they don't actually see it take place. The view behind this image right here actually does have rounded corners, but you can't see it because this image view is on top. And same with this button. This button is on top of the image view. But what we can do is we can say, OK, for everything that's inside that view, make the view a mask that cuts everything, all of its subviews. And what that is, how you program that is like this. Mask to bounds equals true. So whatever whatever mask, I'm using the view as a mask. And what that means is anything that is above it, it kind of like cuts it and conforms it to the same uh, dimension or shape that the main view has. So in this pop-up view, this is the one that's going to have the mask to bounds equals true. So the pop-up view will conform to the same shape and the button will conform to the same shape as this underlying view, as its parent. There we go. That looks a lot better. It has a nice rounded corners. And you can also, as, a, as another option, if you wanted to, you can play with it in your own app. You can change the, uh, the alpha value of this background. OK, great. So I showed you one way to create a pop-up, and that is using a separate view controller. A separate view controller is handy. If you have other controls on here and there's a lot of functionality that's going to happen on this view, on this pop-up, so then it gives you a separate view controller so you can write more code and just keep it separate, keep it separated out of your previous view controller that shows it. This example is pretty simple. All we want to do is just show a pop-up uh, with a continue button. So we actually could have done that right in the existing view. And I'll show you how to do that, but it's going to be in a separate video. See the link for that video down below in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel as I'll be coming out with new tutorials every week. Thank you.